Welcome to BizWire, I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. China is facing major changes to its workforce and economy that is motivating many manufacturers to either leave for lower-cost countries or switch some production to robots. Because of the one-child policy, China is aging quickly, and last year its working-age population shrank for the first time by 3.5 million laborers, a trend that will continue to worsen. Factory and construction wages have been rising in the high double digits, though workers' productivity has also been on the rise, lessening some of the pressure on employers, but it's still difficult to find enough people to fill all positions. Chinese manufacturers are increasingly turning to technology to overcome the challenges of rising labor costs and fierce competition from emerging nations in South and Southeast Asia. But by remaining in China, factories can still take advantage of world-class infrastructure and the many forms of state support. Manufacturers across China are especially looking to robots to replace human beings in highly polluting industries, dangerous operations, or areas that require high-quality production. The International Federation of Robotics, or IFR, says the world's robot industry developed at its fastest rate ever in 2011, with global sales up 37 percent year-on-year to 165,000. Sales in China jumped over 50 percent to reach 22,600. By next year, China will surpass all other countries to become the top market for robots worldwide. State leaders have called on businesses to upgrade technology to boost their competitiveness as the country's role as the world's manufacturing center is shaken by rivals in emerging markets with a growing and less expensive supply of laborers. Former World Bank chief economist Justin Lin predicts that the average monthly wage in China's manufacturing sector may rise to nearly $1,000 a month by the end of this decade from about $350 per month in 2010. The increase is caused in part by UN appreciation and government policies intended to boost personal income and have promised to raise wages at least 13 percent per year through 2015. Lin says the rapidly rising salaries of factory workers could see China lose up to 85 million manufacturing jobs to other countries in the region. Soon Chu, China economist with Daiwa Capital Markets, says productivity would rise even faster with the adoption of robots as companies employ fewer staff. That will help China to retain some manufacturing businesses that might have otherwise flowed to less expensive countries such as Vietnam or Mexico. Meanwhile, employees who see their incomes rise will boost demand for services, bolstering sectors across the board. The types of businesses using robots are also changing. Previously, more than 60 percent of demand came from the auto industry in China, with the rest from other sectors. Now the trend has just reversed. More and more orders are now being placed by firms and industries such as food and beverage, machine tools, electronics, plastics, molding, transportation, engine, manufacturing, metal processing, composite materials, and die casting. Beijing, as part of its efforts to become a stronger economic power over the next decade, has pledged to develop a homegrown robot industry with subsidies offered to local manufacturers as part of its industrial restructuring. For example, authorities in the northeast province of Liaoning recently announced a plan to construct a robot industrial base by the end of 2017, targeting an annual output of $8 billion to develop robots and other equipment. The provincial government has pledged to offer tax cuts and introduce venture capital to support the project. The consequences of a shrinking labor market for China are going to be significant and put strong upward pressure on wages, so it's likely we'll be seeing more and more robots on the factory floor in the future. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network. Stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more in Economic Insight.